My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to General Conference. What a joy it is to be with you. You've been on my mind almost constantly during the past six months. I have prayed about you and for you. During recent weeks, I have prayed intently that this conference would be a time of revelation and reflection for all who seek those blessings. We are delighted to be speaking to you from the Conference Center once again. Most of the seats remain empty, but the presence of some members of the Tabernacle Choir is a wonderful step forward. We welcome you all to this largely virtual conference, wherever you are. We are still dealing with the ravages of COVID-19 and its variants. We thank you for following our counsel and the advice of medical experts and government officials in your own communities. We convene each general conference as directed by the Lord. The format has varied over the years. When I was much younger, conference lasted three or four days. Later, conference was reduced to two days. Every message then and now is the result of earnest prayer and much spiritual preparation. The general authorities and general officers of the Church who speak will focus their messages on our Savior, Jesus Christ, His mercy, and His infinite redeeming power. There has never been a time in the history of the world when knowledge of our Savior is more personally vital and relevant to every human soul. Imagine how quickly the devastating conflicts throughout the world and those in our individual lives would be resolved if we all chose to follow Jesus Christ and heed his teachings. In that spirit, I invite you to listen for three things during this conference. Pure truth, the pure doctrine of Christ, and pure revelation. Contrary to the doubts of some, there really is such a thing as right and wrong. There really is absolute truth, eternal truth, one of the plagues of our day is that too few people know where to turn for truth. I can assure you that what you will hear today and tomorrow constitutes pure truth. The pure doctrine of Christ is powerful. It changes the life of everyone who understands it and seeks to implement it in his or her life. The doctrine of Christ helps us find and stay on the covenant path. Staying on that narrow but well-defined path will ultimately qualify us to receive all that God has. Nothing could be worth more than all our Father has. Finally, pure revelation for the questions in your heart will make this conference rewarding and unforgettable. If you have not yet sought for the ministering of the Holy Ghost to help you hear what the Lord would have you hear during these two days, I invite you to do so now. Please make this conference a time of feasting on messages from the Lord through His servants. Learn how to apply them in your life. This is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We are his covenant people. The Lord declared that he would hasten his work in its time, and he is doing so at an ever-increasing pace. We are privileged to participate in his holy work. 
I invoke a blessing upon all who are seeking greater light, knowledge, and truth. I express my love for each of you. In the sacred name of Jesus Christ, amen.